Scott Parker's got the Fulham job. It's come out the last couple of minutes now, and my immediate reaction to this is good. I think he's, does, he's earned his shot. He's deserved it. Give him a go. Let's see what happens. Three straight wins. He's really transformed the club in the short term. Look, I know it, people might think it may have that sort of Kit Simons whiff about it, but to me, the Kit Simons situation was different. Kit was coming into a situation where we was in a, with a squad that wasn't fit for purpose in 2014-15. You look at that group we had, and it wasn't a championship group. The difference is now, I think the platform's better for Scott to do better. We've got the foundations laid. We've got, we've got a good crop of players there. Might need a couple more additions maybe in the summer. It depends who stays and who goes. But I don't think this will... I, I just don't think it's a Kit Simons type of appointment. I think it, it's along those lines. I completely understand people might be worried about it. But I completely understand that. But to me, I do believe that this, is, this appointment's better than what we could have got. I mean, looking at the options available, Steve Clark, I mean, would you want him? No. In my opinion, the man's an absolute boy. He bores the life out of me. I want to watch his football. I think he's a miserable old bastard. I want to, I want to watch him. He's boring. I've seen it at Kilmarnock. When he's done a good job there, credit to him, but he's boring. And he just drains the absolute life out of you. And why would you want to go and watch a manager like him who's got no personality and I'd rather, watch, I'd rather go and watch paint dry than watch his football? With Scott... Or well, at least one of the players like him. He's one of the lads. He's played with the club. He knows the club. If we keep Stuart Graham, Matt Wells together, then that's a good, that's a, good a very strong coaching group and a good coaching team to lead us forward. Look, it's going to be hard next year. I don't. I, it's going to be difficult. The championships getting harder and harder each year. It's an absolute mindful of a division, and it's not one that I'm always. I'm not looking forward to next year. It's going to be a difficult season, but I think we've got the good. We've got the right coaching team. No doubt about it. Just, Whoever's in charge, whoever's made the decision will have taken as long as possible on this. I have to get this next choice right. It's a big, big step in terms of where we go now for Fulham Football Club. We need, we need to get back at the, as quick as possible. We cannot afford to be languishing in this championship for another three or four years. We've got to try and get back as quick as we can. Scott's earned the right to be the manager. I don't see any, anyone can really moan. He's the best candidate, in my opinion, out there at the moment. Compared to the likes of Stuart... I mean, compared to the likes of Steve Clark, who I, I don't think we should have got it. Lee Johnson was never going to come to us after his stellar job at Bristol City. He would have never came to us. There was even talk of Arsene Wenger. Like, come on, get real. Arsene Wenger going to come to Fulham in the Championship? No way. A dinosaur who's passed it, in my opinion. I like him as a pundit, but I don't want him as a manager. I'm happy with Scott, the right man to lead us forward now. Let's all get behind him. The Fulham faith will be behind him. We're going to be with him every step of the way now. As a young manager... He's going to learn his trade. It's going to be hard, no doubt about it. The championship's ruthless, and and you can any, any sort of weakness can be exposed in this division. It's a division where it's thick and fast. The games come quickly. Forty six games next season, but I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good ride next season. Scott Scotty's at the wheel. How good does it feel?